Hello again guys, uh, hope you are doing well. Uh, the first video that I'm, I want to make is about uh, the, mm, the uh, Taliban, the, the war against Taliban and also the, the fact that uh, uh, CIA, the US, government, US Army, CIA, they were playing with, with, uh, with life of American soldiers in Afghanistan. Um, I was uh, during, you know, it's from 2006 to 2009, I was uh, uh, serving in Afghan National Army as sergeant and in an, a unit, in Afghan Army unit named Afghan National Detention Facility. We used to transfer to hold, to transfer, trial, and process the Taliban, uh, the uh, Taliban and Al Qaeda detainees uh, from Guantanamo Bay to and from and also and also from Bagram uh, uh, prison, Bagram detention facility, and we were cur uh, working directly with uh, U.S. Army MP counterparts and also with uh, MPRI and. Uh, uh, during these t three years of service of my service in this unit, I was uh, in charge of um, detainees uh, um, a transfer detainees uh, transfer and process their their doc processing their documents and also uh, interrogation and also uh, enrollment them in in a biometric system. So. <clears throat> Uh, I have seen a lot of stuff during this year, three years, a lot of stuff that uh, proved me that uh, it's, it's just a uh, war in Afghanistan, it's just a political game. Uh, when I joined Afghan National Detention Facility in, two, in 2006, uh, uh, there was like 1,400 uh, Afghan Al-Qaeda detainees in Guantanamo Bay. And when I left the unit back in 2009, only 40 uh, detainees were left there and the rest of them got transferred to our units, to our detention facility. And they got, eventually they got released and with pocket of money in their hand as a gift. And uh, uh, we were not allowed to punish detainees. We were not allowed to torture, I mean not torture, to punish detainees they were uh, once in a while they were breaking uh, they were mm, protesting they were uh, mm, making riots riots inside the prison breaking uh, equipments and uh, uh, trying to escape but uh, each time we were not allowed to to harm them we were not allowed to to touch them because uh, we had the MPRI uh, advisors, mentors, that they were watching 24-7, they were sitting behind camera, behind um, screens, and they were watching um, us through the camera, and also we had each month, we had these uh, ICRC uh, guys coming to us and me visiting detainees and asking their, if they are if they are uh, okay, if they are uh, if they are satisfied with us, with our with our missions, with our um, treatments, and of course they were enemy, and they were each time they were making a lot of lies and telling a lot of lies to uh, ICR side du ICRI dudes, and then that which is ninety nine percent of them were false and were just lie, and then the ICRs the ICRI, ICRC guys, they were then, they were just then uh, publishing those lies, uh, you know, blaming us for, uh, for torturing detainees, for violating human rights, for violating detainees' rights, and stuff, you know, jokes like this, but we never did it, we never, we were not allowed, actually. And uh, I remember uh, once uh, uh, the detainee, uh, one of the detainee in background prison they uh, they smacked one of the US soldiers with the 
shackles with their sh with, with the shackles on their hand they smacked him on his forehead and broke his forehead and he could not do anything you know he asked me when when when, when we transferred these detainees he asked me he thought that we can you know punish we can punish detainees and he asked me hey can you take my revenge from this detainee, I say, which one? He said, he pointed me to a detainee. He said, he punched me on the face and he broke my forehead. And, but we cannot, you know, do anything. So I want you to, if you could, I hear that, I mean, I, I think you can, you know, punish them. So I want you to punish the detainees. I said, sorry, and sorry, dude, we are not allowed also. And detainees were asking, you know, in the middle of night, when they wanted to, when they were getting bored, they were calling soldiers, the guard duties, hey, I want to go to doctor. Hey, soldier, take me to shower. Or, hey, soldier, I need banana. So you take banana, then they say, hey, I need uh, tea also. So you take tea, tea sometimes, hey, I don't want to take, take uh, tea, tea is not good, uh, get me some milk. And stuff like this, so we had to do that. So they were, uh, you know, we were just kind of servant for him, for them, because uh, we were not allowed. Because U.S. Army did not allow us. And um, the human rights organization nonsense, like you know these uh, these uh, motherfuckers. I'm I'm using these words. I mean, because I I really hate them. And uh, also. Uh, um, once I remember we transferred the detainees uh, from Guantanamo this guy had thrown uh, a grenade he tried to blow up a vehicle uh, an, an, an US special force vehicle he threw out a grenade toward these vehicles and the grenade was exploded and killed one SF US SF and wounded another one and uh, so he spent six years of his life in Guantanamo Bay and so he was then transfer transferred to us. We I went with the car with my guys, with my soldiers to Bagram and there um, uh, we got a high delegation, high level delegation from high from uh, US Embassy, like a lady with fifteen other dudes from US Embassy. And I thought, okay, if they're possibly we have, we are we have some ceremony here, some important dudes from our government also coming. There's some ceremony. I don't know. I thought so, but you know, we take it took us one and a half days till the airplane from Guantanamo base landed in Bagram. Uh, one single detainee were transferred in one plane, one 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 C seventeen, I think was. From Guantanamo to to Bagram, and imagine how much cost, how much cost one single flight had costed for a U.S. taxpayer. And uh, then, uh, then these delegation came to us. Hey, welcome the, the, the detainee, and he she signed the documents, uh, you know, transferring doc documents, and say, hey, this is your guest, you know, and I could not imagine that this delegation, this high level delegation was there only for a single terrorist, a single uh, guy who killed one SF uh, and uh, wounded another one. And this delegation was only there to, you know, play politic games and to transfer these, to hand over this, these uh, terrorists to us. And we flew back to um, our unit. We were supposed to, to we, we were supposed to fly back to our unit to our detention facility and uh, take detainees there. But uh, we were, uh, you know, not as usual. You know, we, we we flew back. Not we landed not in our detention facility, but we landed in Afghan Afghan Ministry of Defense. Uh, to Shinnok for uh, um, for Apache were escorting us. Around 20, 15 to 25 soldiers were also in two Chinook, were loaded in two Chinook plus these delegations for one single fucking detainee. For one single detainee, there were two Chinook for Apache 
and 20, 25 soldiers. US soldiers. And could you imagine how much of money, how much of your taxes were wasted on this single politic game, politic show? You cannot imagine. Just quick search how much cost a single flight of Shinnok or Apache. Just Google, you will get the, 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 the amount of your tax that were wasted on this single show. As soon as we landed in Afghan National Detention Facility, the detainee, the, our uh, Supreme Court's uh, Ministry of Justice called us, hey, take detainees to us. We, 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 t we took detainees to Supreme Court and the Supreme Court is the Minister of Justice. Hey, this is our guest. Release his uh, shackles. This is our guest. Release his shackles. We released him. And he was honored like an uh, honorable guy, like an honor uh, honorable guest. And uh, then uh, we, we flew back. We came back to the, our units. And the night, that night, he was transferred to Afghan presidential palace. And he was welcomed by uh, Hamid Karzai, the prison that were set uh, on the head of government by U.S. He was citizen of U.S. He was educated in U.S. and he was brought to power by U.S. by support of U.S. He welcomed this detainee and the next day he was released with a four for five thousand dollars with a, a complete buildings uh, and a building a two floor buildings he got as a, as a, as a gift. I was very frustrated if I had, you know, my gun that uh, that day, pl pr probably I would shot this, I would shoot this detainee, because uh, he was a for us he was an enemy, and he should not be, he did not deserve to be, to be honored such such way, you know, he he was not deserved to be honored to he was not deserved to get payment for five thousand U S dollar payment, he was not deserved to get welcomed to get welcome such hot, such warm welcome but this is this is one of the just this is an it's one small example of million other examples that how this process the oef goes how they it went how it ended why it ended so bad so I'm going to tell you more stories on the next coming videos and I have a lot of also documents, a lot of uh, videos, a lot of photos. Uh, as soon as I learn uh, how to, um, as soon as I learn uh, to, to manage the, my channels professionally, as soon as I learn how to bring, how to make video, how to play video on my background and stuff like that. Then I will share you a lot of cool stuff. Till then, have a nice day and uh, till next video. Bye bye.